Well, hello there, and welcome back to my channel. I realize I've been away a few weeks from my usual content, but my family and I are experiencing the whole COVID thing, and so it's been a little challenging to say the very least. Anyway, I'm trying to get back on track, and yes, I'm bringing digital back. I'll be doing some traditional, but I have become fond of using both forms, and I have recently acquired a new tablet, and so I will be doing a mix of them from here on out. Today's drawing is of the mighty Leviathan. That's right, the Leviathan ripped straight from the pages of the Old Testament. From in the pages of Job 41, chapter 41 that is. And also mythical sources and also pop culture movies and other many mainstream sources as well. But before we get too much farther into our content, please like, sub, and share my content with all your gorgeous friends out there. So that you can help my channel grow. At the moment I have 52 subs guys and gals. And y'all are amazing. But please spread the word so that I can get uh, so that I can get up there and shoot for the leaderboards. You know, in the Old Testament there's a book called Job. And in chapter 41 verse 1 it gives a description of a mighty beast known as the Leviathan. And many scholarly sources I have read. And it may just be describing something like an alligator. Or a crocodile. And I think that's a pretty cool framework to start with. So that's what I'm going to go with now. Now listen to this. It's not exactly in order. But it's all from Job 41. And it starts in verse 1. Job 41 verse 1 says in the NIV. Can you pull in Leviathan with a fish hook? Or tie down its tongue with a rope? Can you put a cord through its nose? Or pierce its jaw with a hook? Will it keep begging you for mercy? Will it speak to you in gentle words? Will it make agreement with you for you to take it into your life as a slave for life? Can you make it a pet of it, like a bird, or put it on a leash for a young woman in your house? Will traders barter for it? Will they divide it amongst themselves and the merchants? Can you fill its hide? And it goes on to say things like, its eyes like rays of dawn, snorting, throwing off flashes of light. Flaming streams of fire shoot from its mouth. Smoke pours from its nostrils as the sea boils over. Its breath seems to set coals ablaze and flaming darts come from its mouth. And it's also described in, in its body to say, Can you feel its hide with harpoons? Or its head with fishing spears? If you lay a hand on it, you will remember the struggle and never do it again. Any hope of subduing it is false. The mere sight of it is overpowering. No one is fierce enough to rouse it. And it also says, I will not fail to speak of the Leviathan's limbs, its strength and its graceful form. Who can strip off its outer coat? Who can penetrate its double coat of armor? Who dares open the doors of its mouth, ringed about with fearsome teeth? Its back has rows of shields, tightly sealed together. Each is so close to the next that no air can pass between. They are joined fast to one another. They cling together and cannot be parted. And God also seems to be making a direct comparison between himself and the Leviathan by saying, Who then is able to stand against me? Who has the claim against me that I must pay? Everything under heaven belongs to me. Now, whether you believe in God and Jesus or some other God, or none at all, you have to admit that the tale of the Leviathan is a powerful story indeed. And I, for one, Wish to never, ever, ever see such a thing in all my whole life. Well, with these words, I think I'm going to just leave you to enjoy the rest of this video. And I'll be back at the end to wrap it all up.
Well, that about wraps it up for this epic speed drawing of the mighty Leviathan. And I hope you like it. And as always, I'm your artist Logan, and I'm kind of sketchy, and I'll catch you later.